You're watching the news leader, WDAY. This is First on First News, and today communities around the country will remember the lives lost in the September 11th terrorist attacks. First responders in our region will gear up for a stair climb, scaling the height of the World Trade Center. We'll tell you how many stories they'll climb. And this weekend, a major moment in the war happening in Ukraine, where troops are now fighting back, liberating an eastern city. And a live look outside this morning, Storm Tracker meteorologist Tim Albertson is tracking a cool and quiet day. He'll tell us who's waking up in a frost advisory this morning. Good morning, everyone. We start with a live look now in New York, where later this morning, a commemorating ceremony will be held at the 9-11 Memorial. Today is September 11th, and it's just after 7 a.m., and I'm Jenna Scott. And turning now to our region, before you head out the door this morning, let's get a check at your forecast with Storm Tracker meteorologist Tim Albertson. Thank you very much. Well, right now we are seeing mostly clear skies out across our entire area. And New overnight, a Cass County man is waking up in a Fargo hospital with serious injuries after his UTV rolled several times. WDAY also learned the man was driving under the influence. 51-year-old Bruce Storhoff of Nome, North Dakota, was driving southbound along Highway 38 when he drove from the west ditch onto the highway and then into the east ditch. North Dakota Highway Patrol says he tried to correct it, but instead rolled the UTV several times and was ejected. It stopped in a field on the east side of Highway 38. There is extensive damage to the UTV, and troopers tell us Storhoff is in critical but stable condition. He is facing charges for driving under the influence. And right now, if you live in certain areas of West Fargo, your water will be shut off for the morning and possibly into the afternoon. Crews will be out working on water main repairs. People who will be impacted by the shutoff should have been notified. The intersection of 6th Avenue West and 9th Street West is also close to drivers right now. The repairs are expected to be finished around 1 this afternoon. And earlier this week, employees and customers of the International Market Plaza in Fargo were devastated to see the art outside their building vandalized. They found graffiti of the website to the white supremacist hate group Patriot Front. WDAY news reporter Mike McGurin got exclusive video of the person who may be responsible for the graffiti and spoke to the mayor for an update to the city's response on this possible act of hate. You're looking at footage from a business near the International Market Plaza, taken early Monday morning. Staff at the plaza are rounding up volunteers to help clean up the vandalism. They'll be doing that next Sunday at 3.30 p.m. And today, firefighters and law enforcement across the region are honoring the lives lost in the September 11 attacks on the World Trade Center. They'll participate in the 9-11 stair climb, reaching 110 stories. They'll do the climb in full gear, simulating what first responders endured on that day 21 years ago. The stair climb starts this morning at 9 at Family Wellness on Cedar Parkway, which is near the Shields Arena. All first responders can participate with their identification. There will also be a free will donation with all the money going towards the training and safety of staff at Family Wellness. And when a Moorhead man lost his son to cancer, he decided to make something positive of the unimaginable tragedy. Angel Perez lost his battle to leukemia in 2007 at just four years old. His father, Smiley, started the Childhood Cancer Awareness Car Show a few years later. Yesterday was their 12th annual show, and half the money raised will go to the Sanford Childhood Cancer Center and the other half to Cure Search. It's an organization dedicated to finding a cure for childhood cancer. At least we can try to do what we can for research, at least, right? Try to find better medicine and stuff like that. So that's why we do what we do. Perez says the turnout for the event this year was the largest ever. And if you'd like to make a donation, you can do that at OriginalCarClub.com. And right now, we're tracking an update to the fire at Fly and J Truck Stop earlier this weekend. The restaurant attached to it is now closed until further notice. This was posted at Huddle House, which is attached to Fly and J just off I-29. The sign says, closed indefinitely till further notice. Fargo fire leaders tell us the fire started in some kitchen equipment in the restaurant. We were told a health inspector was supposed to visit the site yesterday, and we don't know the results of that inspection, but this sign was first posted on their door yesterday. And stay with us in three minutes. Our storm tracker meteorologist Tim Albertson will tell us how long some people will be dealing with a frost advisory this morning. That's next in the full forecast.